Hello all, got a bit of time, got here early. I'm kind of uh, waiting for that truck to get unloaded before I can get in. So I just thought I'd do this one for you. Um, this was a question that Del Anthony asked me a little while ago, Del Anthony. And he says, can you make money on the CX if you don't have a van? And the short answer is yes, you can. Because the CX kind of fits into two different categories. Now, you've got to bear in mind I'm kind of winging this one because I started in a van and our side, which does all the freight forwarding and all that kind of stuff, that's the office. So that's kind of really should be their department. But um, yeah, you fit into two different categories. There are three people in the supply chain. There's a customer, a shipper, and a courier. So what will happen is the customer, that will be like one of these said warehouses here, will ring the shipper and go, I've got five pallets that need moving. I need a van. And the shipper goes, fine, no problem. We'll get, the, uh, we'll get a van in to you. Then the shipper will contact the courier and the courier will come in in a van, pick the five pallets up and move them to where they're going. Now, the, the shipper and the courier might be the same firm. Say, for example, oh, I don't know, um, a lot of courier companies out there. It's a noisy fork truck. Um, a couple of courier companies out there will have their own vans. So what they'll do is the job will come in and they'll pick up the phone and they'll go, Brian, or they'll send through on the app, go to here and pick it up. But then you'll get other people that are shippers that don't have their own vans. And what they'll do is they'll put the job on the CX. And they go, I need five pallets moved from here to somewhere else. And then bids will come in. I'll do it for this much money, I'll do it for this much money. And then, with the, then the shipper, the guy in the middle, has got to work out which one he's going to go with. So he'll either go with, he, the cheap, there are three ways. You know, you basically, in, in short, it's price, location, and feedback. So he will be, we'll do, there is a video on there that explains that in better detail. Um, but then they'll book that van, and then say, for example, they, that, that job might come in at the, the um, the courier, number three, might say, I'll do that job for £100. The shipper might be charging customer, number one, £150. And then he'll ping it across. The courier will come and pick it up and do the work. He'll photograph the paperwork, send it to the shipper who will provide it to the customer, and then the customer will pay the shipper, and the shipper will pay the courier. That's how it works. Um, and so, for example, the shipper, the middle guy, might turn around and go, might charge his customer 150 might pay the courier 100 50 quid. But you've got to bear in mind the ship has cost too. He's got the CX membership. He's got he's got family to feed. He's got offices. He's got electric and people need to get paid for a living. But that is basically in a nutshell the way it works. So the other question is then, so if you want to run on the CX but you haven't got a van, what you need is your own customers. We call these end users. How do you go about getting an end user? End users are like hen's teeth. They're very, very difficult to get in. But if you're that kind of guy that's good at it, I know my mate Gold member out there, he started a little while ago, and he's apparently, I think he's doing all right now. Well done, mate, if you are, like, you know. But he said, I've got this guy. And he's like, he's brilliant. He'll turn up in a suit and he'll tie, and he'll go around places like this. Can I speak to your transport manager, please? Can I speak to the person in shipping? I, Hello, Tracy, how are you doing, Tracy? Lovely. We'll do you a decent deal. We'll get vans in. So it's shoe leather, or it's putting flyers through, or you Google it, or you send off emails, that kind of stuff. But if you've got customers of your own, if you're in a position where you've got people that need stuff moving, but you haven't got any vans, CX is for you. It is the thing that marries everything up in the middle. If you want to start on the CX, then you kind of got to join the CX and hope you get your own customers. Because if you don't, you're paying a pile of subscription and you're not getting any work. That's my understanding of it. I mean, you must bear in mind with this channel, and I always say everything on this channel is either wrong or largely erroneous. But that's kind of the way I see it works. We'll probably discuss this more on the Sunday Q&A we do, where people that are doing the shipping thing, that are much more informed and better off than me, will leave their comments. So it might be worth tuning in for that one. But I hope that fills you in on the rough idea. That's my understanding of the way it works. I hope that helps. And if you decide to go for it, I hope you take care and you take money.